Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ude Favorite Chimwendo and I welcome you to my channel. And if you're already part of this family, thank you. I, in fact, I want to use this time and appreciate you guys. I want to thank you guys for everything, for the likes, for the comments, for the views, for always coming back to consume my videos. Guys, I so much appreciate it. So guys, in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how I did this headband wig that doesn't even look like I am putting on anything. It's more like looking so natural like i'm just carrying my hair and i flipped everything back and packed it but yeah it is a wig so guys i used no frontal no closure just a headband and um my bandana yeah <laughs> you guys know i'm very much in love with this so guys we're always too much of your time without all this talk 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 let's just ride straight into this video and of course if you don't want to miss out on any of the tips on how to make this headband wig make sure you watch it to the end and guys if you haven't subscribed to my channel yeah that's not fair that's really not fair so just go ahead and subscribe to my channel hit that subscribe button down there it doesn't really it doesn't really cost a lot it doesn't really cost that much you just hit it on that subscribe button just hit it and turn the notification on so you get notified this time i post a new video okay i think i'm talking way too much let's just get straight into this video i'll see you guys very soon Hey loves and welcome back so for this headband wig make we're going to be needing a dummy head a soft one at that we're going to be needing a scissors a t pin or any other pin i don't even know the name of this pin then you need a clip then you need a trade and uh, a needle if the covering needle the one that looks like um a hook works for you go ahead and use it both of them works for me both the covering one and this straight one works for me so go ahead and use any of the both that works for you and if you don't have um a wig stand go ahead and use anything available as you guys can see i am using my seat as my wig stand and of course you need a wig cap and the weave you're going to be using for this your hair if it is synthetic human hair blend any one that you can get hold of this is what i'm i'll be using because that is what is available and guys, if all the weave, if all the weave on in the pack is not of the same length, go ahead and start using the smallest length so that at the end of your sewing, everything will be the same length, everything will be equal. You don't want it looking so scattered and, you know, step by step, something like, it won't be so good. You probably need a headband. If you can't get a hold of anyone at Amazon or Jumia, you can get all of these on Amazon. But I am doing this myself with just a lycra material. You can use velvet, but I'm using lycra material, a bit stretchy material. Yeah, this is my um, attacher and detacher. You just go ahead and stick it to both ends of the headband. And guys, after that, we are now going to start with our sewing you sew the headband just a little bit above the wig cap line that line on the tip of the wig cap just sew it a little bit above it and please remember to make your tracks very tight because this is serving as your closure and you don't want it to look scattered or look loose so we're done with this side this side and we're just gonna go on and do the same thing to this side yeah remember to avoid this line because we are not going to make use of any of this we're going to cut it off so avoid it totally and continue sewing your tracks down to the back so when i am done attaching my headband to the wig cap i went ahead to use my chalk you can use marker or foundation your foundation to do this I'm just going ahead to place the lines on where I want to sew my tracks on. Now this space that I'm giving simply depends on how many bundles I am going to be using, like how many bundles of that weave on that I'm going to be using and how full I want it to be. So for the back I just did one inch and for the front I did half inch. So if you want it to be more fuller and your weave is going to be enough, you can go ahead and do half inch for everything. Just go ahead and give the spacing according to how many bundles you're going to be using. 
and how full you want the hair to be so the line is more like a guide for you but if you're too sure of yourself you can go ahead and do your thing without even stressing yourself out with putting lines so i'll just go ahead and use my t-pins to stick the weave on the other end of the wig cap then i'll start sewing please make sure you're sewing your tracks very very tight and close So guys when i get to the end of each line i'm going to use flipping the web method to continue sewing my tracks so instead of cutting the weave and scattering it just flip the weave on to the other end then pin it down with your t-pin and continue sewing your tracks so that any day you choose to remove this weave and use it for another thing it won't be scattered so right now i'm just going to continue sewing my tracks and i'll be telling you guys some of the advantages of headband wig first off headband wigs are very easy to wear and style and again you can always style it anyhow you want especially the curly ones with your headband external headband with your scarf or bandana just anyhow you want you guys also know that those chemicals we use in installing and uninstalling frontals and closures tend to damage our hairlines, our edges. But this um, headband wig is more like a protective hairstyle for your edges. It won't damage your edges because you're not installing it with any closure. You're just using your headband wig to serve as your closure. So it's more like a protective hairstyle. So headband wigs technically gives you the assurance that your edges and hairlines are secured and healthy so i hope you guys are going to try this headband wig out with your curly weave your straight weave your short weave any particular thing you can get hold of just try it out and trust me you're going to like it if you have any question for me concerning this weave go ahead and drop it in the comment section so i will get to it and answer it so guys we're just going to continue showing our tracks to the front and please don't go anywhere because you wouldn't want to miss any tips on this headband wig making So guys, if you stay to this particular point, thank you very, very much. We're just going to continue sewing our tracks on that line we've placed already in the front. You guys know that I did half inch for the front, for the front, yeah. So we're just going to continue sewing our tracks. Yeah, when we get to this place, guys, I want you guys to pay a very close attention right now. Because this is your front hair, this is your closure, and you wouldn't want it to look so unkempt. So I'll be showing you guys a hack you'll be using for your front hair so you will get that relaxed and smooth front hair. So this method is called the traditional sewing method and it's just putting the needle under the weave and the wig cap and removing it. You're not doing any tying. You just put the needle and remove it. You continue doing it that way. Just put your needle and remove it. Once you drag it tight, it is going to be firm. And there is it guys. I don't know whether you guys can see how neat and smooth it is looking. So we'll be using this traditional sewing method all through the front hair. And here we are in the last web of the sew we are going to be doing on this wig. So I just went ahead to flip the remaining web to the other end and then stick it with my pin. Guys, please make sure that this last web is very very close to the headband. As you guys can see, there is no space remaining in my own. So I am just going to continue sewing my tracks using the um, traditional sewing method to continue sewing till i am done so guys that's pretty much all it is for this headband wig sewing 
so when i get to the other end i'm just going to cut the remaining web off and if you feel like you still want to add this remaining web to, the, to your hair you can go ahead and do it add it to the back if not you can do away with the remaining one so i just went ahead to trim it off trim the remaining thread off then i did some brushing and i get to cut the wig cap edges just the parts that we don't need and while trimming please be sure that you're avoiding your headband totally because you wouldn't want to give yourself a double work when you mistakenly trim this head headband off so just go ahead and trim it all round so guys right now i'm going to be trying the wig on i already did a little bit to weave in on my hair not that neat so i just went ahead to cover it with my cap and i'll be trying the wig on right now so i just went ahead to flip the headband just a little bit flip it on top of the wig so that it to serve as your closure so i always advise that you go for a bit wide headband so that your flipping will be neat and easy so i just went ahead to arrange the headband and guys that is it you guys can see how neat the closure is already looking so i just went ahead to style it snap some pictures do some show-offs because <laughs> why not and guys you can decide to flip everything to the back and use your rubber band to pack it that would be okay just go ahead and do any style you want and guys that is all for this video so just go ahead and tell me what to think about this headband wig and about the video in the comment section. I am just sitting right here waiting to hear it all. So guys, that's pretty much that for this video, for this headband wig making. And guys, I am super in love with this. I mean, guys, just look at it. It's already it's looking that natural, like giving me that natural look. It doesn't even look like I am putting on anything when I pack everything to the back it looks so natural and i am in love with this so guys i hope you guys are going to try it out it's more like a protective hairstyle for your edges especially for those of us that doesn't have edges you guys can see it i'm managing the small one that i have and i wouldn't want anything to happen to it subscribe to my channel like this video just go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and go ahead and drop your comments say what you feel like about this video about this headband wig ask me your questions in the comment section and i'll get to them and answer them you guys don't mind all this smile i'll just blush it i am feeling myself like i am in love with the hair i'm in love with the light like this light is giving what it's supposed to be giving like <laughs> i'll get to see you guys in my next video bye